this is uh, this right so so you can you are allowed to uh, work for many hours so here the provision was 75 hours you can have the employee work up to 35 hours but actually i think there should uh, there is some complicated in that uh, if you got uh, you are not much 65 you are not your section 65 right so the other portion in that if you have mentioned that may ex uh, may exempted from certain provisions right but some factories have the already uh, the exemption under 64 Uh, as per rule, one or two of the factors there. So they have only mentioned it 50, 50 years in a quarter, and now here they are mentioning that 115 hours Correct. in a quarter. Correct. So that 50 hours has become your 100 hours, hours but, in the quarter. But uh, subject to yes, the uh, rule 102, and if you see in rule 100 also, there are certain people who are exempted from that tax. Right, right. Yeah. So rule 100 means. There are only certain people who, who cannot be given overtime, right? The manager and all they are listed out there, right? right? And same hundred and two, if they are exempted from these, they do follow so the provision. My question is that whether I should take a benefit under section sixty-five or hundred and two rules. So depends upon what, what factories, you know, what uh, factory you cover, you know. I will fall under the exempted the category of the factory as per rule hundred and two or under section sixty-five. Accordingly, uh, it will be applicable. Yeah. Any other questions? Uh, is it hundred or hundred and fifty hours? It's hundred. Is it hundred fifty? I need to check the notification. I think it's hundred. If it's hundred fifty, then I'll check it. But it's hundred. I'll just check it. Hundred fifty, right? One month, right? One month, five months. Provision also is there for. Uh, I was talking about the female. Someone was asking. Yeah. So safety and uh, you know the baby provided. Safety and security. Correct. Safety and security. Whatever it means. Whatever it means. <laughs> That's open. There are guidelines. There are guidelines. I will see the guidelines already there, and uh, you will get it from the labour office itself. But again, you know they all debatable. Like even under Shopper Institution Act, if you see. Uh, notification number four seventy six, which is for IT IT enabled service, they have given certain guidelines for uh, female working beyond uh, you know eight uh, thirty uh, pm. That is uh, uh, section thirty three three. You know the yeah. the guidelines are there, but you know again the always debatable that female should be last first. There's a lot of things in there. Yeah, one one question. Uh, for Maharashtra. Factories Maharashtra Amendment Act 2015. Correct. The name of act. Uh, it itself is uh, changed now. But yeah, the so, uh, rules now uh, have become an act actually. Uh, let me take you through uh, certain other proposed labour law changes which may come. Apart from Maharashtra, there are certain changes which are there. So I'll just take you through two slides on that. Then I'm open for questions. Anything to do with the notifications in your case. Okay. So uh, first of all, uh, government uh, announces uh, labour law exemption for starters for three years. Okay. So starters have been exempted for nine labour laws, for including B A B S I, you know, uh, B O S W industry migrant workers, and for nine labour laws to promote and incentivise the formal notification not yet out, but this is what they already declare and it's in place. So that's all. Uh, they'll also be they need to basically show self certification. Again, you know, there is also notification or self certification. Where if you are uh, employing only 40 employees or less, so you need to do a self certification. You need not file all the returns. I mean, the inspection will not happen. So similarly, it will self certify is compliant for the three years. You need to just self certify. Okay, you compliant, non-compliant, and all those. That's for the startups. Uh, I, I, I mentioned this. 44 labour laws have been compared to four labour codes. So the two of which would be happening in a month or so, all depends upon uh, if there is less drama in Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha happening today nowadays. So if if people are interested for the labour reform, they'll push it. If things are settled in uh, in the parliament, uh, you know under B F Act, the now uh, they have declared the interest rate at 8.8%. So just wanted to share you that. 
And there's a proposal for universal minimum wage for contract labor. It is not yet out, but the proposal for universal, uh, you know, contract labor uh, to 10,000. Uh, now, uh, the labor minister, uh, labor minister Bandaru Dattray, he clearly said that I can only bring this, uh, and it was supposed to be done in this uh, period itself. He can only uh, push this if uh, things are well in place. That means if this rule is passed. The minimum of uh, wages for the contractors, workmen, uh, contractors, workmen, whoever is working in India, has will be at least ten thousand. Okay. So even if, for example, your permanent employee is having say nine thousand is uh, minimum wages, your contract workman who is working in the uh, you know establishment will have ten thousand. Okay. So that's what they want to put. They want to you know uh, universally they want to put up workmen. Rather proposed amendments under Industrial Dispute Act, which will allow companies to employ companies to employ up to 300 workers. Currently, it is up to 100 workers, right? Leaving only a tiny percentage of workers. So basically, uh, now uh, <laughs> India's ranking was very very low as ease of doing business, and the huge issue, and you know, people are saying that you know. So this is the uh, labor reform which uh, government wants to push for the ease of business there. Not negating that you know the efforts of the employees, but also you know uh, taking cognizance of issues of pains uh, the employees have in closing, opening units and everything. Or if they want to really, uh, if it's a sick unit and so many employees are there, 100, 150 employees are there, you really cannot right now, you cannot actually discard all the employees. You need to follow a huge procedure. So this is something, creating a labor union will become more difficult if this uh, rule is passed, where you need now 30% workers to sign for its wage, right now it is 10%. Okay. Apprenticeship Act, the government is seeking to expand the scope of employees to uh, personal and shop jobs. You know, but traditionally apprentices was only for the engineering background. But now, from engineering, they are moving to non-engineering as well. Uh, but it, they, are, uh, they are divided into four zones, so east, west, north, south. So the west zone, which you know we all are part of, uh, the office of this Zion, and you can go on uh, the website called apprentice-engineer.com. The website not yet changed. So apprentice-engineer.com, and you can actually uh, employ apprentices in your organization because it gives a lot of uh, benefit to the organization in terms of uh, PF and ESI. You don't have to pay PF and ESI for entry level apprentices. You can actually also. You know, recruit on your own and route it through apprentice board. You can do that. Not that you need to take it from them, but you can also route it through them. So, uh, technically, uh, you know, 10% of your entry level workforce should be from uh, apprentice. That's what, uh, you know, uh, demanded. It depends. So, a lot of organizations now are taking organizations there and they are doing it. <coughs> States like Ma Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan really moving uh, faster than uh, Maharashtra. MP has proposed amendments to eight labor laws, including ID, factories, contract labor, and others. Also, uh, proposed change to BSW, child labor, and all. Haryana is also proposing, in fact, the proposal of Haryana is very good because up to 100 workers, now even Maharashtra is up to 50 workers of contract labor, you don't have to take license. Haryana is proposing uh, not to take license up to 100 workers. If you have Employees working up to 100, you don't have to take a license, labor license. The contractors don't have to take a license. So that's the new uh, proposals, all it's underway. We are sure that the assembly, uh, you know, uh, assembly session in uh, you know Haryana, uh, the government, if it passes well, they are going to pass this law very soon. Right now, of course, there is 20. Even uh, there is a shift in Arctic labor laws in Canada. Earlier, it was just allowing uh, IT, ITS, uh, you know, enable organization only to work. 
a very nice tip for the all women, but now that is changing uh, to other non-IT RTAs. You need, you, know, you need to fill up the form R and S, you know, you need to get the things done for the IT and IT enabled service. ESA is also launching scheme for unorganized sector. So you know how what is the percentage between organizers? You know so many companies are there, right? Organized sector, all companies, right, which you work for. ECS and huge, huge number of employees are there, right? All over India you must be seeing Mumbai, wherever, all the cities. You know what is the percentage of organized and unorganized? I'm sure you understand the organized and unorganized. It's 93% unorganized. 92 to 93% is unorganized. So uh, sometimes it just be uh, all credit to Pahar uh, People are just behind the organized sector. The labor department are behind the organized sector to see. But you know you need to see also the organized sector how they are really uh, working in shambles. The, the, the work environment is so bad. So government is taking the stand that you know for the even the organized sector they are putting the ESS in place. They started a pilot phase in Delhi, Hyderabad for fixed drivers. So what could be the impact on amendments? If at all this whatever amendments is I just shared and this recent proposed amendment also come, it's always good because company can be progressive. They can hire fire. I'm not saying they need to really fire all the employees. But there is always a valid reason to fire, right? Today you have a non-performing asset is there in the organization, a human capital asset is there in the organization. Really have to fire them, it's, it's really, really difficult. Do you agree with me or no? All HR guys? Yes. What do you do? You please plead, okay, you please to design at least. You sign a resignation. I can't fire you. I know I have to fire you, but I can't fire you. Is it right or wrong? Yes. Yeah, so that's what the whole rules are there. But if this happens that you can really, you know, up to 300 employees and ID, you can really do this, it's good. So company have the flexibility to hire employees or lay them off, demand supply scenario changes, and it will be more progressive, that's what I believe. So as I anticipated business chambers in India, welcome these changes as a positive step. See, I also say this, that we have been recommending this key reforms for bringing simplification and flexibility engagement deployment of labor. So let's see this changes, the welcome change for betterment of all India and especially less hurdles and less things for Asia. So with this, uh, I end my presentation. If you have and any uh, questions, just to, just to add. Yeah, that, that leaves us about 20 minutes for question answers. Uh, so you, if you have noted already questions or so, uh, so I can of course request. I would recommend. Uh, uh, raise your hand, I will give the mic so that... So I would also request uh, Bhagat Sahib as well as Mr. Vaidya uh, to be to add, with add, me add, to add value. Just, you know. just to add, uh, even today there is a proposal to uh, declare an industry or uh, industry as a sick industry. That, that's again under uh, business as a ease. So the, that norms are again, they are also coming so, See, there's a lot of, see, I think, you know, uh, I don't favor any global research, but you see, uh, wherever the BGP government is right now being there, I mean, they'll be very progressive with at least this labor reforms. You will see Maharashtra, see Karnataka, uh, not Karnataka, sorry. See Rajasthan, see MP and everything, now see Haryana. They're beginning, uh, beginning to have a lot of uh, uh, laws in place. Uh, may I request uh, that instead of uh, expressing opinion, let's stick to the question answer and for our... our I mean, helping us in uh, seeking more knowledge, I am inviting uh, Mr. Pagar here. Please, if you don't mind, sir.